So if someone had a question, they wanted to know, is it possible to reverse the damage from diabetes? Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do that. And yes, it's totally possible to do that. So the first thing to know is what's causing the damage. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to a new term that you may have not heard before. And the pronunciation is glycosylation. Okay, this is a condition where you're taking sugar molecule and you're bonding it to a protein molecule. Now, when you combine sugar to protein in a certain environment, you render that protein unavailable to the body, okay? Because it creates a permanent bond. But not only that, you make certain proteins pathogenic, okay? And let me explain. Now, you've heard about good cholesterol and bad cholesterol, right? You have so-called good cholesterol is HDL and bad cholesterol is LDL. Now, those are not really cholesterol particles. Uh, what they are are cargo ships, they're transporters. L low density lipoprotein, okay? They're proteins. They have cholesterol in them, they also have triglycerides, but the LDL itself is a lipoprotein. So it can carry the cholesterol through the blood. And LDL itself, being the so called bad cholesterol, is not really bad unless you expose it to a lot of sugar, okay? Because you're gonna create this effect where you're gonna bond the sugar to the protein and make it pathogenic. It's gonna to stick to your arteries. So there's one more new term I wanna give you called AGEs, advanced glycation end products, okay? These are proteins that are sticky and they clog things up and they, they block blood flow to the nervous system and other parts of the body. But the AGEs are the end product of having this high sugar with the combination of certain proteins. Now, hemoglobin is the protein that carries oxygen through the blood. Now, one of the ways that doctors look at diabetes is through um, this A1C test, okay? But what this will show you is the amount of exposure to this protein, okay? And it's on a scale. You want it low, you don't want it high. But that's one of the ways that they look at diabetes through this test, A1C. Then you have neuropathies, okay? These are situations where you have nerve damage. It usually shows up in the peripheral nerves first, in the bottom of your toes or the fingertips, they go numb, they have burning, tingling. What's happening is these sticky protein uh, sugar molecules are blocking the blood vessels to the nervous system, killing off those nerves. And then we have problems inside the artery walls. We have problems with Glucose saturating the lens of the eye, causing cataracts. Glucose creating problems in the protein in the circulation that goes to the retina, causing diabetic retinopathy, which is one of the leading causes of blindness with diabetes. And also glaucoma and many other different problems with the eye. Your connective tissue, because it's a protein, becomes affected. For example, you have this fascia or this sheath of connective tissue underneath the foot called the plantar fascia, and you can develop what's called plantar fasciitis, which is basically that fascia is contracting and it's causing a lot of pain. And you can even see this in a diabetic where their arch starts going higher and higher and higher because um, that fascia is contracting. Then you actually end up with a hammer toe and a lot of feet problems, not to mention infections because the food for bacteria is sugar. So when you increase the sugar, it's a perfect environment for bacteria to grow, fungus to grow, yeast to grow, and this is why diabetics have a lot of infections. Also, you see a higher incidence of getting toenail fungus with diabetics because of the sugar feeding the fungus. There's another condition called gastroparesis. What is that? That's a situation where your digestive system is just really sluggish and you're not processing food that quickly. That has to do with the damaged vagus nerve because with diabetes, the nervous system is one of the big targets. So you'll have uh, problems with the brain, the nervous system, the kidney, the vascular system, and the eye. All right, so now that you have some data on how the tissues of the body get damaged from diabetes, the question is, how do you reverse it? Well, number one, you have to lower the sugar. What is diabetes? It's a condition of high sugar, okay? So you must get the sugar out of the diet. You cannot reverse diabetes unless you do that. And that would be a low carb diet, okay? And we're talking healthy keto, of course. Also, the other thing that will do it is doing intermittent fasting. Those two combined are very effective for stopping the damage because that will also decrease your blood sugar and force your body to run on fat fuel, okay? So that's number one. 
The problem is that the damage that's already in your body is irreversible. So we have to give it time for those tissues to regenerate and replace themselves, okay? And that could take three to four months for a lot of the tissues, but some can take a lot longer, especially if it's part of the nervous system because the nerves only grow by one millimeter per day, okay? That's not very, that's not very fast. So it could take several years to get those nerves back. However, there are some things that can speed up the process. There's two main nutrients that I'm gonna recommend that have been known to have great success with this. One is simple vitamin B1, but in a form that is a little different than the water-soluble B1. You want the fat-soluble B1, and it's called benfotamine. I'll put the word in the spelling down below so you can actually identify it. And I would recommend taking higher amounts of that, okay? Four capsules a day. Because it is fat-soluble, it can go into the nervous system, into the fat layer around the nerves, called the myelin sheath, a lot better. It actually absorbs into the brain 25 times better than the regular B1. So this is a really important one. The next remedy is called alpha lipoic acid, okay? I would recommend taking 600 milligrams three times a day. That's a lot, but that's what you're gonna need to start to speed up the reversal of this damage. But it all starts with changing your diet. You must get the sugar out of the diet, go on a low carb, do intermittent fasting. All right, thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.